Preventing concert chaos at Canal Side. You might remember this scene from last year's T Pain concert. Crowds running, breaking through a fence, some even scaling street signs. New security measures taking shape now as a result, including admission fees. So, are you willing to shell out cash to catch your favorite act? Jeff Rusak reports from Canal Side. <laughs> Summertime at Canal Site. It's a beautiful thing for Buffalo. And soon the sounds of summer will be replaced with the sounds of concerts, at least on Thursdays. Lots of fun, lots of people, lots of drinks. <laughs> it gets busy though. Last year's concert series had organizers thinking about adding a fee, especially after a huge crowd showed up to the T-Pain concert and broke down a fence near the security line. They stopped letting people in, yeah. so I had to, we went out for drinks after that instead. <laughs> It was crazy. It was just crazy. Now, this summer, the concerts will cost $5 a person. Not everyone is a fan of the fee. To me, I don't think a lot of people are going to come out if it's not going to be free no more. Because it's like you got to charge, and then you got to pay for your food and drinks and stuff. So I don't think a lot of people are going to come out. Uh, kind of sucks, but I'll still pay the $5. Some of the extra income is expected to go towards security. And most of the people we spoke to Wednesday say $5 is reasonable. I think that's a great deal. Five dollars to come see a concert. It's not that bad. Not, not much. I mean, it's a concert, so I mean, five dollars is still not bad for a concert. Bruno Mars is like a hundred dollars, so I don't mind spending five dollars to come see a concert. I'm not really mad about it. If it was a crazy jump, then I'd be a little more upset, but I think we're going to be okay. You may be wondering what concerts are actually coming to Canal Side this summer. Well, those are expected to be announced on Thursday. Reporting at Canal Side, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay.